The Australian government appointed a new ambassador to the Holy See, Chiara Poro met with Pope Francis last Thursday. She presented her credentials and she is the country's fourth resident ambassador since 2008. In, at 36 years young, that is, she is one of the youngest ambassadors to the Holy See and she brings plenty of experience in foreign affairs from her previous jobs in both India and Africa. Joining us now is Ambassador Chiara Poro. Australian Ambassador to the Holy See. Ambassador Poro, welcome. Can you tell us a little bit about your role as Ambassador to the Vatican and what you hope to achieve? Thank you very much for having me on the show. Uh, I'm very pleased to have arrived here in Rome uh, and taken up my functions as Australian Ambassador to the Holy See. Uh, as the only ambassador uh, resident here in Rome uh, from the Pacific region, I really hope to be able to represent our region, bring a, more of a Pacific voice uh, here in Rome and talk about some of the things that Australia is doing in our region, particularly on issues such as the environment um, uh, and, and also in terms of elevating the role of the church in the Pacific, um, which plays a really critical role in terms of the community there. Exactly. And some of the other issues that you want to advance also on the agenda are human rights and conflict resolution and peace building, correct? Sure, yeah. So we work very closely with the Holy See uh, on our uh, multilateral agenda um, and human rights uh, is, ve is very important for Australia. We're just about to conclude our term on the UN Human Rights Council where we've made a lot of progress um, and of course we're very active um, in the United Nations in, in New York and Geneva. And again there we try to bring the Pacific voice um, and working with our, with our counterparts here at the Holy See to advance um, our joint objectives, including on issues such as human trafficking and modern slavery, which Australia is very, very active on. And I understand last week you had a very special visit with the Holy Father. What did he say and what advice did he give you? We, we had a, I had a, I was very, very fortunate to have the opportunity to meet with the Holy Father. We had a long discussion. Uh, he was very generous with his time. Uh, and we discussed a wide, wide range of issues. Um, I was very keen, again, to, to promote um, Austra what, what Australia has done, our region. He's very interested in our region. Uh, he hasn't visited there yet. There was a trip planned for this year, but it has unfortunately had to be postponed. Um, so we discussed that. We also discussed youth um, and, and outreach to youth. Uh, for, in my opinion, you know, youth are really the future of the church. Um, and I think it's very important um, uh, to be able to engage uh, engage with, with youth all across the world. Um, I hope in my role as a, as a relatively young ambassador to be able to um, uh, act as a bit of a bridge, um, you know, for, for the younger population. Uh, but, of course, taking into account all the experience and wisdom of the older generations who obviously have a lot to offer. You definitely do have a lot to offer, and you recently wrote that this year will mark the 10th anniversary <laughs> of the canonization of St. Mary MacKillop, Australia's first canonized saint, and uh, how will the embassy be marking this milestone? Well, for us, uh, I was I was very lucky to be able to present the Holy Father with a relic of Mary MacKillop, uh, and I was very I really wanted to do this for a number of reasons. Um, I know the Global Compact of Education on Education is a is a real initiative of Pope Francis, um, and Mary MacKillop was very active on um, uh, helping uh, the the poorer the poorer part of the population in Australia to access to have access to education. She set up schools in the rural areas of Australia. Australia. And so I think her actions, um, her life are very, very important um, to, to remember during these times. Um, also during this, these times of coronavirus, um, Mary McKillop did not have an easy life. Um, she spent several periods in isolation um, and she fought through and really symbolises the character um, and spirit of Australia. So I was very, very keen to, to um, speak with the Holy Father about, about this very important um, person for Australia. Um, we will, of course, with coronavirus, we're still figuring out how we're going to mark the occasion in October, um, but we'll be working very closely um, with uh, various um, uh, stakeholders back in Australia to, to promote this very significant anniversary for us. Well, thank you so much, Ambassador Chiara Poro, Australian Ambassador to the Holy See. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me.